U.S. President Joe Biden was in Saudi Arabia recently. His prime objective is to get the powerful OPEC cartel to increase its oil output so that global crude prices could be low. How did Saudi Arabia respond? They told Joe Biden that any decision to raise oil output will be taken by OPEC Plus and all its counterparts collectively. Now, what is this OPEC Plus? It's somehow OPEC Plus Russia. That should tell you how things are going to be crap in for the Biden administration in August. Saudi Arabia and Russia are oil rich partners. Saudi Arabia is the world's second largest oil producer and Russia is in the third position. Saudi Arabia has doubled its oil imports from Russia since the war in Ukraine began. According to this report, Saudi Arabia has imported 647,000 tons of Russian oil in the second quarter, that is April to June. During the same period last year, the Gulf Kingdom had imported 320,000 tons of oil from Russia. The truth is, Russia oil used to find its way to Europe is now turning its way into the Middle East. As of June, Russian crude export into, into the Middle East has reached 155,000 barrels per day. But in July, the number has risen up to 220,000 barrels per day. People are asking why Saudi Arabia, the biggest name in the crude world, is importing Russian oil. You have to know that Saudi Arabia remains one of the countries that rely on oil for its electricity generations. So here is what is happening. Saudi Arabia is importing cheap Russian oil for domestic uses while exporting its own oil to the world at higher prices. Because Europe has been avoiding Russian oil directly, according to this report, Europe's Russian oil imports has slipped down by 30% in February and June. During the same period, the Middle East who take the Russian oil has increased dramatically. Saudi Arabia has helped Russian oil find alternative market in the Gulf. Now, how the magic happened? By purchasing the Russian oil, Saudi Arabia is ensuring its pace up in exporting its oil without necessary increased output in the dramatic fashion, which means the supply remains the same and so the prices do not climb down and it's a win-win to both Saudi Arabia and Russia.